Hi, meteorologist Peter Hall. Here's your NBC3 forecast. And as we look ahead today, big story is the winter storm warning in effect for most of central New York. And yes, even a blizzard warning in effect for northern Cuba, Wayne, Monroe, and Ontario counties and points west into western New York. Now remember, a blizzard isn't necessarily two to four feet of snow. A blizzard defined by the National Weather Service is at least three consecutive hours of heavy snow or blowing snow and winds of at least 35 miles per hour. The best chances of both of those criteria being met uh, will be across those counties I just mentioned. Now it is going to get windy and it is going to get snowy. This morning we were in the mid 30s with some light rain and light wet mixture. You get to about 10 a.m. and the precipitation becomes steadier and then noon and through the afternoon and evening it's, it's heavier. It will be a snow main event for central New York, although further south and east you go, the better the chance that it takes longer for the rain to change to snow. So here's the very latest rain changing to snow with the heaviest snow occurring midday, afternoon and evening. It also is going to increase in the wind department too, midday, afternoon and evening. Sustained 15 to 25 mile per hour winds with occasional gusts, mostly in central New York of 30 to 40. Although again, if you're closer to Lake Ontario and in those areas of the blizzard warning, you have an opportunity of seeing that with higher winds there. Snow totals are going to vary from place to place as usual with a storm and because of that rain snow line, but also from surface to surface. And what I mean by that is when the rain eventually changes over to snow, the snow will first stick on existing snow and ice pack. Duh, that makes sense. It also sticks to car roofs and you know, the draw the trunk and, and all that. And it also sticks on tr trees and lawns first. It then will it change over and start sticking to roads. So roads may accumulate a little less versus the other places I just said. Now keep this in mind. On untreated surfaces, parking lots, sidewalks, or roads that are not treated, you're going to get a flash freeze of those surfaces. Why? Because it's already wet now and eventually it's going to start sticking. And that means that layer of water underneath the snow is going to ice up. So be aware of that as you're driving and walking around this afternoon, this evening. And yeah, the wind chills are going to be an issue, dropping to 5 to 15 below by tomorrow morning. So it's either rain or wet snow light through mid morning and then 9 30, 10 o'clock precipitation picks up and you could see the difference on the future cast. Look at that steadier precipitation and it should be all snow for the throughway corridor, central and western New York and northern New York. Notice near or especially south of Route 20. We're still holding on to that rain mixture longer. So the further south you are, the 88 corridor, the 206 79 corridor and points south, you're going to have less total snow by tomorrow morning because once you change over, you'll have less snow than everybody else, but everybody is still going to have accumulations on the ground by tomorrow morning. Remember when you wake up wind chill 5 to 15 below zero, how much snow is going to be on the ground by 8 a.m. tomorrow? This is my forecast. There are differences in this forecast from the National Weather Service to my forecast to other outlets, and it is a tough forecast. I think most of central New York in the white, including Auburn, Syracuse, Rome, Utica, 7 to 13 inches. The best chances of getting 13 to 19 inches, the Tug Hill, Old Forge, and the Adirondacks. And from about Fairhaven, Hannibal, west to Webster, Wolka, Newark, Lyons, over here towards Ontario County, Rochester, these areas, 13 to 19 inches. South of the Route 12 corridor, anywhere from 4 to 7 to maybe as low as 1 to 4 inches, depending on how far south you go. And then there's leftover flurries and wind chills below zero all day long Thursday, a high temperature of only 16. Ouch. Flurries Friday with late breaks of sun starts at 5 but ends at 37, 41 Saturday, then 27 on Sunday. I'm meteorologist Peter Hall. I have many details with a web story on cnycentral.com.